here from Blocks Builder. And with the recent release of Blocks version 4, we have a bunch of new features available for us to explore and to build with. It's actually fantastic. One of those new features is found in the class manager and it's the Flex tools. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, Flex, a bit of an overview, how it works, what it looks like. And so Flex is uh, one of my favorite things. It's one of my favorite things about the Bootstrap framework. You know, it allows you to create some amazing things very easily, very quickly. And I use Flex a lot. You know, I used to have to manually add uh, the Flex classes to the class box up here on the right panel. But because of the new features in the class manager, uh, we don't actually have to do that a lot now. Now, uh, there are still some classes that we can take from uh, the Bootstrap documentation. But as I say, for the most part, uh, the new features built into Blocks allow us to do so much just straight out of the box. So if you're new to Flex, what Flex is, is it's a, it's a utility that allows you to align items horizontally, vertically, by size and by fill, all with an apparent element or what is known as a Flex container. And today we're going to look at horizontal and vertical positions. And in a future video, we're going to cover size and fill and a whole lot of other things that you can do with Flex to make some really cool things. So let's get started, shall we? I have a gray box here, which I've just actually applied a background color to a row. And that's really just so visually this looks a bit better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this column into a flex container. Now, the flex container is what's known as the parent container. It can be anything. It can be a column. It can be a div. Um, it's whatever is wrapping around your elements that you're um, manipulating. So I'm going to choose this column as my flex container. And inside this column, I have four cards that are going to be what is known as my children elements or child elements. So as you can see, actually, another neat feature of Blocks 4 is that we can turn different layers off in our layer tree. And so you can't see my cards on the canvas at the moment. But if I hover over a layer, you'll see an eye icon appear on the right hand side. We can click that eye to hide and make visible different layers. It's very cool. OK, so we have our four cards. Each of these cards I've um, already known a class for. It's set at 100 pixels by 100 pixels to make them square. And I have a border on it and um, a bit of a radius. So what we're going to do actually first is I'm going to set give each one of these borders a unique color. And these classes I'm putting on here aren't fancy. All they, all they are defining is the color of the border. There we go. So that looks a little bit prettier. Next thing we want to do is actually um, set a custom class on our flex container. So as I said, I'm going to use the column and I'm going to give it a class called box, um, box wrapper. And I'm going to use that as my flex container. Right. So I'm going to bring up my box wrapper in the class editor. One thing I'm going to do actually is set the height to 700 pixels so we have a bit of room to play with. And now this becomes our playground within this container here for our items. So within this container, we can move these items around. Now, the first thing we need to do to set up our flex properly, and you'll notice in the class editor, there's a bunch of new tabs available is that we need to set our display to flex or inline flex and we can do that in our new positionings tab now i love the positioning tabs there are so many cool options in here that i absolutely love and i'm going to do some great videos in the near future about some of these options but we're going to set our display to flex or inline flex in this video i'm going to use flex now, what that means is when we've got our display set to flex is now on our last tab here, we have our flex options. These will now work. If you've got your display set as anything other than flex, you'll find that none of these options have any effect at all on the canvas. So display flex. And now what we can do with our flex tools is we can control our children items within our flex container 
So I'm just going to go through some of these options. We've got direction, align, and justify. So our direction, we can go from left to right, which is our default. Or we can go from right to left. And as you can actually see here, the, it's a reverse order. So on our left to right, we have the blue box and the purple box last. And when we reverse the order, we've got the purple box first and our blue box last. So we've got this horizontal left and right. And we also have vertical from top to bottom and bottom to top. And it reverses the order just like the horizontal one. The next set of options we have is a line. Now the flex terminology is start, center, end. You, might, you know, in, in our thinking, we're probably thinking top, middle, bottom, but it's start, center, end. So our start is at the top, our center is in the middle, and our end is at the bottom. Now, the reason why they use start, center, end is this is contextual based on the direction. So we have a top, middle, and bottom when we have a horizontal direction. And if I change our direction to vertical, our alignment becomes start, center, end. It moves horizontally. It's very cool. So if your direction is horizontal, your alignment is vertical. And if your direction is vertical, your alignment is horizontal. Right, the next option that we have is justify. We can justify to the left, the center, or the right, just like with text. But we have another couple of options, which is a justify space, and we have around, space around. So we've got space, and you can see that takes your your child items right to the boundaries on the left and the right here and evenly spaces them. And then the around one, around space, gives us a spacing at the beginning and the end, which I think is 50% of the spacing in between our items. That's very cool. The next option we have for ma manipulating our items is wrap. Now, wrapping isn't gonna work so well if we've got our cards as small. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change our card size, bring up the card class. I'm just going to change the width to 300 and the height to 300. Now you'll find that these are getting squished up inside our container. So I'm just going to set a minimum width and a minimum height of 300 so that they stay true to their square shape. Now you can see it overflows outside of our flex container. Now we can do a couple of things here. We can use our flex container class that we set up, our box wrapper. And uh, we could, under the positioning options, we could change our overflow to hidden, which means anything outside of our flex container is hidden. We can do another option called scroll. And now if we preview this, we're actually able to scroll anything that goes outside of our container. But what we're going to do here is use the wrapping option. So I'm going to turn our overflow to nothing, unset that, come back to our flex classes, and I'm going to use the wrapping option. Now the default is no wrap. We can have our standard wrap and our reversed wrap. Now it's interesting to point out that your reversed wrap actually just changes the rows. So in this case, we've got blue, green, orange, in the next row we have purple. If I reverse it, our top row becomes purple and we've still got blue, green, and orange. So it doesn't reverse the order, it reverses the, the order of the rows. That's where the colors are helpful. <laughs> okay. And what you can do, of course, is mix all of these options. So uh, we could do uh, Let's do a left to right option. We'll center that. We'll give it some spacing and then we'll set a wrap. We can have everything right justified in the center or left justified. And so there's lots of options that we have for manipulating our content. The cool thing is also we can do these flex options per breakpoint. So in this case here, we've got a nice little layout for our larger screen. But say we drop our break point down, we can um, manipulate 
the way. Let's see if we can do something a little bit uh, different. We'll reverse that. Okay. So if we come and preview that now, as we go down, we'll see that our options have changed. So it's really cool to be able to do the flex options per breakpoint. It means we can create some amazing things. One other little quick thing I want to show you before we wrap up this video is I'm just going to unset all this and I'm going to shrink down our cards again. I'm going to change their size uh, back to 100 by 100. Is that we can manipulate the way uh, our items are distributed not just through our classes but also the way we apply um, margins so in this case here um, let's go for a vertical direction say for example in this vertical direction I want um, three of my squares to be at the top and I want this fourth square to always be at the bottom of the container I can select my last um, child element the purple square here and I could add a class which is MT Auto. So that sets the margin top to auto. And when I do that, the purple one will now always dynamically be at the bottom of the container and the other three will be at the top. We can actually remove this class and apply it to the orange one, margin top auto, and it will split our four boxes into two like that. This also works um, if we come back to our parent class this also works horizontally but instead of margin top depending which direction you're going say we want to use our blue um, our, we want our purple our purple box to be over to the right so we can select our purple box and we're going to go um, M um, margin left M L auto and that pushes our last box over to the side and again just like vertically we can also do that here as well to do two of our boxes all right that's a quick overview on how to use flex if you've got any further questions please let me know and i can do another video to add more clarity um, take care have a fantastic day